Well, today we are here in Cambridge and we are doing the first ever Hemophilia Hackathon. The Hemophilia Healthcare Hack is an event where MIT Hacking Medicine is working with CSL Bearing and the NHF to develop solutions that improve the quality of life for the hemophilia community. Friday night we had pitching, which is an event where we allow patients and community members to talk about the pain points that they have. And then after the event, we have a setting where we allow community members and patients to talk to each other, mingle with each other, and form teams revolving around a problem. There were 37 different problems presented. A lot of the problems that were pitched were problems that we've heard about over the years, but just having a fresh set of eyes on what some of those solutions could be, I think is really, really important. So Saturday is where the bulk of hacking happens. Teams are coming together, they're asking a lot of really good questions, and they're really starting to break down and move towards solutions. There's uh, post-it notes all over the walls. It almost looks like wallpaper in some of these rooms right now. You can just feel the excitement rising. You can hear people's voices increasing. And so I think people are really excited to be making a difference. All too often, we sit in rooms uh, with a lot of people that have had a lot of similar experiences and, and just being able to bring people uh, coming from different uh, functional areas within the community to look at something differently is really powerful and, and really helpful. We have people from different nationalities, different countries are here, many different age groups. Patients, caregivers, engineers, computer scientists, scientists, and business developers. And that convergence of background and thinking is what will bring the best ideas forward. I'm really excited to see what the, the final pitches look like and, and ultimately, you know, who wins. So on day three, participants come in and are ready to pitch what they've worked on this weekend. They have three minutes, and in those three minutes, they have to talk about what the problem is, what the solution is, and how they actually plan to implement this. And then awards are given accordingly. I think as a group, we were looking for a good combination of presentation, innovation, and the business application. How could it really happen? Our winner of our first place prize goes to Infuser. I'm, I'm honored. I'm absolutely honored to be a part of it. I think it's incredible. You know, we, we have unique opportunities in our community and, and to be able to, to partner with some really great folks. And CSL Barron being one of those and MIT uh, Hacking Medicine being another one. So well, I'm excited to be a part of it. Our relationship with the NHF over the years has been really great and this is just another opportunity for us to focus on what's important to both of us and that's the patients. As a patient you know what it's like and you can make your situation better but that chance to help make someone else's situation better that's a privilege and that made it all worthwhile. I love being able to collaborate with people from outside the community who brought a different perspective and expertise to the table uh, as we were trying to work out solutions to problems. So uh, it was a great experience, exhausting but fantastic. I'm really excited to be a part of this. I've never been at a hackathon and you know now I think it's a great way of thinking. To be involved in such a unique process that has the potential to impact so many lives. I feel blessed to be part of it. A lot of times when you live with a chronic illness, because no one's familiar with it, because no one ever says your disease name on TV, uh, because you never see it written down anywhere, you feel very isolated. And this was a demonstration of, I exist, I am important, I can contribute.